Hello everyone, my name is Gal Shugeli and I'm an AI engineer at FalcoDB. Today I will show you how to build a knowledge graph with FalcoDB and Graffiti using a football unstructured and structured data. We will see how to transform this data using Graffiti tools into the graph representation with real-time updates and periods and, and we will see how the time relevancy look like in the graph and how we can use the smart retrieval to gain insights on the time and the facts that we're looking for. Over all this demo, I will show you the, the FACODB visualization of the graph. You can see on the right our, our visualization, and we can see that we have two graphs, UFC and La Liga. La Liga is the graph that I will show you how the graph is look like. And for now, the graph is empty. We, we, we will use two sources of data a Wikipedia tables with two teams, Barcelona and Real Madrid, and ESPN article that claims that Rashford will join Barcelona in the future. Let's start. Let's begin with uh, install the dependency, graffiti with FACODB, and import uh, the relevant uh, imports. I was using GPT-41, but you can choose whatever model that you, you want, an OpenAI model, and I'll define the La Liga uh, group ID that we'll, we use to choose our graph. Uh, in the future, you can choose uh, several graphs and use the group ID to switch between them. Um, let's run the, the helper function, a uh, quick review of this function. Uh, add episodes to the graph using graffiti method. Add episodes to add structure and structure data. Uh, depends on the content uh, structure. Uh, standing table and top score fetch the, the tables from Wikipedia and provide it to uh, graffiti. Uh, and get article fetch data from a website using beautiful soup and it will help us to uh, to take the, the ESPN article uh, for us to use to build the knowledge graph and search and display that uses uh, graffiti search to uh, bring us relevant insights. Um, the next step is to define the OpenAI key that you need to set in, in the keys or like the secrets if you're using uh, this collab uh, build the FACODB uh, driver using uh, our cloud. You can see the, the link for the cloud and for free um, use the uh, FACODB uh, and let's define the, the graffiti client. Now we are set to insert any data that we want using graffiti. So let's start with the previous, uh, previous season of uh, um, of the La Liga with Real Madrid Barcelona, the time period, uh, and let's insert the last season and the top scorer tables, and we will see how it really uh, it adding the the points. Um, we can see that the insertion is Real Madrid position and uh, points. I will adding also the the uh, amount of wins in the, in the end of the La Liga. Um, now we can see the first step when we insert the data in the first uh, the first table, um, and we can see that each row represented as a, an episodics, and the entities like the columns is the entities of the rows, uh, and we can see uh, the representation of uh, the table in uh, in the graph. Uh, so entities as has summary and relationships as facts, the facts that connected between the the uh, two entities, and we can also notice the the time relevance or the time period valid at and invalid at, and this is um, according to what we insert and in, like previous season like twenty three twenty four. So now it's finished. 
the, the current season, uh, the, the, the last season and the top scorer. And let's see how it looks like in our graph uh, in a second. So you can see the connection between the tables right now. We can notice that Barcelona is connected to uh, the amount of wins. I think it's the amount of wins. Uh, like tw 26 season wins and Real Madrid and Barcelona connected to the second position depends on the season like this is the, f the previous season this is the last season Real Madrid actually finished second in the last season uh, and we can also notice the players like Robert Lewandowski and how mm, what how, how many goals did he score in the last season? Uh, Kylian Mbappé, Rafinha. This is how how we use graffiti to build uh, build the knowledge graph from the structure. And we can see how powerful it is that we insert different tables and they are all connected in the graph. So from simple run, the different tables has connection and we can in gain insights. For example, what was Real Madrid final points at the end of, of each season? Let's ask this question. And now we can see the fact that uh, stored in our graph. Real Madrid has 84 season points between 24 and 25, the last season. And we have the time relevancy. We, we print it. And also we can see the, the, the amount of points in 23, 20, 24, like we asked and more that uh, more information about Real Madrid but think about what the LLM can process data this data to give you uh, an informative answer and understand the time period and which time was relevant to your question um, let's uh, let's move forward to the unstructured data so now we will use the unstructured article uh, of Marcus Rashford using uh, the function that I showed you before. Uh, we extract also the dates, so we give some uh, relevancy, uh, time relevancy to, to graffiti, and we insert it using our function. And what I want to, uh, to, to say about this, look how, how this article is unstructured. A lot of people, a lot of uh, facts and like different mentions, and we didn't process it at all. We didn't change anything. We didn't uh, like pre-process the data. You can do that for your own uh, use case and see how it look and how it improve your your uh, your trivial. But let's look how it's how, let's see how it look in the graph. Um, so. And we will ask about how are the players rumored to move to Barcelona. So in the meantime, let's ask this question and we can see that now we have the potential move of Marcus Rashford, uh, Robert Lewandowski plays for Barcelona, Rafinha plays for Barcelona, this is what we know, but Marcus Rashford, a uh, rumor is also in this uh, retrieval. Uh, and we, we have this data. So let's look, uh, let's see how it look in the graph. So now we have the ASPN article, we have Marcus Rashford and Barcelona. They are connected uh, with, uh, with some facts that he, he uh, extracted from the unstructured data. And we have a lot of different entities on the graph, like Hansi Flick, Liverpool, Luis Diaz. This, all of the entities, uh, converted into a knowledge graph based on the, the article and has the the facts or like the definitions that uh, the articles spoke about. Uh, let's see how, how we can retrieve uh, entities um, from the graph. Let's say we want to retrieve ANSI Flick using graffiti and we can also retrieve specific entities. If we, if we, if we look, look for an entities and not uh, connection or like representation between entities 
we can use this uh, uh, this method like uh, node search config and extract the ANSI flick like the general manager of Barcelona um, we can set the, the limits uh, whatever we want and it will extract the more the most or like the top relevancy uh, semantic relevancy to, to what we ask like ANSI flick and we can see that Robert Lewandowski is also uh, retrieved uh, he's a top player at Barcelona and seems like he's the general manager that makes sense um, one more question what the latest news about Manchester United so now we uh, ask about Manchester United and we can see that the, the, the answer is related to Manchester United because Marcus Rashford is a player of Manchester United uh, Ruben Amorim is the general manager of Manchester United and that he is alone from Manchester United and this is a, um, a powerful uh, insights that we insert to the model from unstructured uh, data. Let's try to do some like freestyle uh, rumors. I'm inserting two rumors. Lionel Messi is rumored to be transferred to Barcelona. I hope it will happen in the future. Uh, personally, it's my dream. Uh, and that Marcus Rashford has renewed his contract with Manchester United. And let's add it to the graph. Um, so, what I want to show you now and what we will see is how these updates update the, the old uh, facts and how it enrich our graph and give us more ability to answer relevant questions. Let's see how it looks like in our graph um, and what is the latest uh, changes. So we will ask again who are the players that rumored to move to Barcelona and now we can notice that Lodan Messi is rumored to transfer uh, from Inter Miami to Barcelona. We have to uh, connection, one connection connected Lionel Messi to Barcelona, one connection is connected uh, Lionel Messi to Inter Miami, so this is the reason that we have two uh, facts similarly. And we also have the rumor about Marcus Rashford that is still uh, relevant, and the other um, relevancy to Barcelona. Let's ask again about Manchester United and we can see that um, Marcus, Rash, uh, Marcus Rashford has used his contract until 2028 and the uh, renew renewal period or uh, relevancy um, on our graph. Um, let's see how the transfer update look like. We have Lionel Messi, we have Barcelona, so uh, as I say we have the related um, like to connection of Lionel Messi. Let's try to do some complex questions. Uh, I was quickly build um, an, a graffiti agent with system prompt. You can review it on your own on this call up and it will answer um, our question in a natural way, like using the graffiti retrieval and use a graph frag to answer our questions. And we ask, we will ask three kind of question, question. Compare Real Madrid and Barcelona performance between 23-24 and 24-25, the both seasons. Uh, where does the player with the most goals currently play, and how many points was the club with uh, that Messi rumored to? So, actually, what I am supposed to to get is some um, summary of the. The position like performance goals wins between 23 24 uh, 23 24 25 and I want to see the player with the most goal Kylian Mbappé that plays in Real Madrid maybe uh, the amount of goal that he scores in this season or like the last season and I will want to see uh, the, the amount of points that Barcelona that connected to Leo Messi uh, is uh, that, that, that 
that I will get Barcelona as an answer. So let's start. For the first question, we get the summary that we we think about, like as we supposed to get, like Real Madrid, Barcelona, uh, in the 23-24, and then the following season. For the second question about uh, the goals, we get uh, the player with the most goal in the last season, 23-24-25, uh, according to the provided facts, is Kylian Mbappé with uh, 31 goals and he plays for, Mal for Real Madrid. Uh, great. And Lionel Messi is rumored to be transferred to Barcelona. The points for Barcelona for the last latest season are 88. Let's see that uh, it's right. So we can see that uh, in our in the last season, Barcelona gained 88 points. Okay, that's it. I hope that I uh, give you the, some explanation of how to build knowledge graph, how to use Falco DB with Graffiti to build knowledge graph from any source of data. And for any question, you can contact me in, the, in, the, in the any routes. Uh, and I hope you enjoy it.